So those of you that might not be aware of PMO View and uh, what it's uh, all about, uh, it is an executive uh, HP PPM dashboard uh, plugin, and so it really addresses the need uh, to provide executives and uh, managers in an organization a nice and easy uh, interface to get access to overall performance of your project portfolio. Um, also, uh, you can use it actually to pull in uh, information, uh, say, from Excel, if you've got other business units that are using Excel to manage uh, their projects. Uh, but uh, in this case, uh, we're assuming most of the audience here uh, are current uh, HP PPM customers, and uh, so this provides them an opportunity uh, to uh, see uh, the uh, solution. Uh, so those of you that, uh, as I was mentioning before, it uh, gives you this uh, real-time visibility, gives a, a nice uh, user interface for executives, as well as uh, team members. It's a great way to engage uh, the team. We've seen with our customers using PMO View that uh, they've uh, really driven uh, dramatic increases in uh, adoption of using uh, their overall PPM uh, solution, uh, and that's through providing uh, the information in a nice, uh, engaging fashion uh, that then they can then share in multiple uh, project review sessions, as well as uh, multiple planning sessions with the business. So in terms of uh, what's new with uh, PMOView 2.0, uh, we have a few uh, new uh, capabilities. Uh, those of you that might be an HP PPM SaaS customer, uh, HP PPM SaaS has certified PMOView, so this is something that you could uh, purchase uh, with us and then uh, have that installed on your HP PPM SaaS environment. Uh, you'll highlight today our, our new user interface. So we've streamlined the user inter interface and uh, made more room focusing on uh, getting access to uh, your core uh, measurements as well as your overall performance. We've uh, One key thing that uh, we've added here is our drag and drop uh, dashboard configuration uh, module. Uh, it's a quick and easy way uh, to allow end users to be able to go create their own dashboard without any programming. Uh, we've also uh, added uh, many different uh, dashboard widgets to support the drag and drop creation of your dashboards, as well as many uh, PPM uh, data sources. So uh, you can uh, basically uh, create a dashboard in a number of minutes, uh, all with just the access to the end user interface. So we're excited about these uh, new capabilities. Uh, we definitely uh, have received some of this feedback from customers, but we also believe that this uh, will help customers uh, drive their overall performance of their project portfolio. So the next thing I wanted to highlight here was just a few uh, snapshots of the new uh, user interface. Uh, so you can see here that we have a, a more streamlined user interface. Uh, those of you that might not be familiar with PMO View, uh, actually, uh, you can uh, put in your own logo and put your own uh, color. So if orange isn't your uh, color of choice, uh, you can definitely uh, uh, add in your uh, core uh, brand color. And then you can see here we've got a lot of different types of uh, widgets and uh, views that you can put onto your dashboard, but uh, fully uh, configurable uh, by the end user. Uh, next here is uh, another view of looking at project portfolio performance. Uh, so this kind of gets some of that uh, innovative, creative uh, engagement uh, for organizations. Many really like the uh, red, yellow, green. Uh, some organizations feel this is a little too modern for them. So we have the typical uh, stoplight red, yellow, green versus the one here with the, uh, the fire and, and uh, the, the piggy bank here from a cost health perspective as an example. Uh, next uh, here is just some examples of uh, some end users that are going in and, and creating their own uh, dashboard here, pulling in just some core uh, budget information that they wanted to track. Uh, next, we still have our overall program and project schedule uh, view uh, and being able to uh, continue to uh, view that uh, overall schedule here in the solution. So one of the key uh, investment areas as well as uh, new capabilities here in the solution is around the, uh, the dashboard configuration. So I wanted to kind of highlight that to you, give you a brief overview uh, of those capabilities, and that'll be uh, probably a central point here 
of our demonstration today. So uh, when we look at the overall capabilities here for dashboard configuration, as you can see up here in the uh, upper uh, left-hand uh, corner, uh, you can come in into the system and say, I want to create a new dashboard page. Uh, you'll basically then have a blank dashboard. At that point, you can say, I want to add a widget onto that particular uh, dashboard page. You can select the size of that widget uh, and then place it over here uh, onto the, uh, the dashboard. Then I can actually click on editing that uh, widget and then I'll be able to select the various options of uh, different widgets. So I might have a, a, a pie chart or a line chart uh, or I might have just a grid or I might have some uh, KPI cards that I want to uh, display. And so it's that easy to be able to uh, come in and configure your own dashboard. So a, a quick uh, three-step process here. Uh, so say I went into the system and I said I wanted to add a new dashboard page. Uh, then I go and click on I want to add a new widget. I select that widget. That widget automatically then shows up here in my dashboard. So I can kind of design the, the layout of my dashboard. So that would be uh, step one. Uh, step two would then be to uh, click on one of those uh, widgets that I've uh, identified and select the different types of uh, module as well as then uh, the associated data source. Once I've selected that, I automatically then get access to the data and I can see what the results are of that real-time information coming back uh, from your core data source. In this, in this example, uh, coming right back from uh, HVPPM or it could be pulling it uh, from your Excel file that you've loaded into PML View. And so the end result by going through that process, uh, selecting uh, the different widgets that you would like to add to your dashboard page, then going in quickly editing those and uh, determining if I want a KPI card, uh, do I want my overall uh, project help, am I looking at uh, really bringing in an overall bar chart? Uh, am I looking at overall uh, budget uh, information? Or do I want a full entire grid of a listing of all my different projects or other components that I'm managing as part of my project portfolio? So really just three easy steps to come in and uh, create a, uh, a dashboard. So what we'd like to do next is uh, move in and uh, do a demonstration. So I'm going to uh, log in here uh, to PMO View. So I've logged in here to a PMO View. Uh, you can see uh, here that uh, we've streamlined uh, the interface. So very streamlined here on top, maximizing the actual room uh, for uh, the actual uh, performance information. And then the ability to still to tab along from different, uh, say, dashboards or modules that you've created. Uh, I can look over here and see that I have additional tabs uh, that might have set up. So I could come over here and look at uh, the portfolio uh, tab and I could look at the particular uh, dashboard uh, here uh, in terms of my overall portfolio summary. And so you, you can see here how uh, I've got a broad set of out-of-the-box uh, KPIs that I can uh, report against as well as uh, a lot of out-of-the-box uh, pie charts, a lot of out-of-the-box information to really bring in all of your uh, project information as an example. In this case, if I wanted to go back over here to the main page and actually look at the, uh, the budget page, uh, we can navigate here to this budget page. So here I'm seeing overall number of projects that we have, what our current budgeted cost, the actual cost, any approved costs that we have, what's the current spend rate, what's our, our budget actuals, uh, as well as then I've got uh, various uh, pie charts here. Here we're looking at uh, a percentage uh, or number of projects by project type, if you will. Uh, then over here we're looking at the overall dollar amount uh, for each uh, month, as an example. And then uh, down here at the bottom we have the uh, project listing. Uh, and so I see my general information. I can actually scroll over and, and get more information there. Uh, as well as we have the ability, just like we had before, to select uh, which particular uh, columns you would like to see. 
once you do that, it saves it, and it will just uh, show those columns uh, the next time you come in and, and use that uh, dashboard. So that kind of gives you a, a quick uh, overview here uh, of uh, the system. Uh, we're going to go into uh, some of these other uh, capabilities here in a minute. So what I'm going to do next is uh, jump in and show how to uh, create your own dashboard page. And uh, so I'm going to come in and look here and say I want to go in and edit. Uh, at that particular point, I come in, could come in here and actually edit a particular dashboard page and, and move things around. Uh, so I could come in and do that. At this particular case, we're going to go in and actually create a new dashboard. So here I want to come in and create a new dashboard and we'll just call this uh, a demo dashboard. And here then I get to select who I'm kind of publishing that to, who will have uh, access uh, to uh, this particular dashboard. So I can pick uh, in individuals that would have access uh, to the dashboard. And so then I can come over here uh, to my new tab uh, that I've uh, set up and I can uh, look at uh, adding more information. So here it's asking me to uh, put in more information about this tab and I'll just say this is my demo tab. And so here I can uh, basically come in and uh, create and design my own dashboard. So I can select the, uh, the, the size uh, and shape of a widget that I would like to include. So I like to kind of this uh, size and I could start uh, adding those here uh, to the dashboard. So if I wanted to do a few of those, I could actually add those here uh, to the dashboard. And then I could also come in and say I wanted uh, another uh, item here on my dashboard. So I could go through that process and uh, continue to add uh, more items uh, to my dashboard. Uh, so at this point, I could come over here and start then uh, editing each one of these widgets. And uh, I can put a name or a title on those. I can also then select the module. So we have uh, our card modules. So those are uh, out of the box uh, cards. Uh, we've got a chart. So if you're looking for the bar chart, we have bids. We have the KPI cards, milestones, pie charts. Uh, so we have multiple different modules that you can select. So in this case, I want to go look at uh, budget information. And then from there, it'll tell me what data sources are available for that module. And I can click Save. So immediately now, I'll be able to look at the overall budget. You notice in this case, I didn't put a title. Uh, but I could come back in here, and I could put a uh, title on this. And so now I have uh, my budget uh, widget here and reporting overall current budget of my project portfolio. Uh, next, I, I could come in and say, let's go in and, and uh, actually add a grid here so I can start to look at uh, a listing of our projects. So in this case, I select grid. Then I would select the different data sources. So if it's capacity details or my change request details, um, if I'm looking at my issue list, um, if I wanted to look at my projects, if I wanted to look at uh, project details. So in this case, I'm going to look at uh, project details, and uh, I'm going to select that. So it's going to immediately apply that uh, data source and actually bring that data here uh, all within the dashboard. So at this point in time, I could actually use this drill in and actually look at the status report associated with uh, these projects. I can scroll across here and uh, use that uh, immediately. Next, I could come over and say, let's look at uh, updating uh, this additional widget. So at this point, I can come in and say, I want another card. Um, we've already kind of have our budget. Let's look at the overall health. Uh, so I can look at the overall health of our portfolio. And uh, now I've got uh, that information showing up here in my dashboard. I could also come in and say, let's uh, fill out the rest of our dashboard. So I can add uh, cards here uh, along the top and uh, really kind of fill out uh, our overall uh, dashboard here. And it looks like I'll add uh, one more to round out uh, the top row. 
So now I've kind of got uh, the design here of this particular uh, dashboard. So in this case, I can come in and uh, edit the widget. Instead of using one of the uh, kind of health cards, if you will, I can come in and say, I want to go uh, pull in a KPI card. And so then I've got a list of my different KPIs. So since we're kind of looking at some health and some, some budget, uh, I can come in here and look at, let's pull in the, the actual cost. Um, and so this case scenario, I can add a title to that. So we'll say uh, current, actually with these KPIs, I don't really need a title because it's self-explanatory. So here we can now see what the uh, current monthly actual cost is. Uh, and I can view that information here. I could say this looks pretty good, but what if I wanted to uh, move these around? Uh, and I could actually start uh, moving these around. And so in this case, if I wanted to kind of uh, change the sequence of my different types of uh, data that I'm going to display. So in this case, I want to come in and add in another uh, KPI card, kind of keep that same flow going. So I would come in and select a KPI card, and at this point uh, I could say what's our current actual cost. Actually, uh, this is our fiscal year cost. So I'll do that. So we've got our monthly cost, and now we've got our uh, fiscal year actual cost. Uh, and then over here uh, I might want to put in uh, one of our more graphical uh, cards uh, looking at health. So at this point, uh, let's pull in our projects and uh, I'll select the associated data source. So at that particular time, uh, at this point, I basically have created uh, a dashboard. And uh, just with a few uh, drag and drop and access to the different types of widgets, I've created a full complete dashboard here in a, in a matter of minutes. So we feel this is really going to be very powerful for organizations to provide uh, great real-time visibility of their performance of their portfolio. Uh, at the same time, make it an engaging interface that executives as well as team members would like to utilize. And as a result of that, that's going to drive the accuracy and the adoption, uh, which will then uh, make the data more accurate, which will enhance overall decision making. So that gives us a, a brief uh, bird's eye view here of uh, looking at uh, PMO view. A couple other things just to highlight, and this will kind of give you an idea of things that will be coming in our next uh, webinar when we do our uh, deep dive session. Uh, so if I go in here and I look at uh, the admin uh, screen here, uh, we've got it set up so customers can actually do their mapping of uh, various fields that might they might have unique uh, in PPM. You've got general account information, you, uh, your overall calendar. You can look at the associated users, roles of those users, and what they would have access to. We have the data upload for those that are using Excel files. And then we have the data sources. So this is a, a new capability here with uh, 2.0. So I could come in here and actually look at a, a data source, say, such as a budget. Uh, and when you look at this uh, particular uh, data source, uh, you can see that this particular data source is aligned to specific types of modules, uh, certain types of filters, or whether or not it's going to show totals. And you can down see here the different columns. And you actually get to uh, set the behavior and how that will appear in the particular uh, widget in the dashboard. So uh, we've really taken away the need for uh, actually doing coding to create your data sources. Um, there is a, a capability that uh, you can basically include in, say, your script to do your query, but you can control all the features and functions and, and the visualizations here uh, within the data source capability as part of the administration module.